Hey guys, it's Ken and Paul again from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken and Paul Cook and Review. And check who we got in the background, our first guests here on Cook and Review. It is Where's My Challenge from, from Southampton, England. How are you guys doing? Awesome. How are you, Ken? I'll take the dog, talk a I'll come in. Yeah. I'll come in. Don't leave me hanging. Louis. Louis. Power Rangers. <laughs> nice. So they are. They have come here because they're starving. They've only been eating food from Toronto and uh, Niagara Falls. Now going? they're going to eat some home cooked meals prepared here by Paul. Paul, what do you have in store for us today? Craft dinner. Nice. <laughs> on a stick. Yeah. You've never Sorry, had craft dinner. Craft dinner. Cheese. Craft dinner. <laughs> okay. What is it, buddy? We're doing. We're gonna. We're gonna mix it up. We're gonna do a uh, steak Oscar poutine. Wow. No. Yes. What did you come up with that? I don't know. It just popped in my head last night while I was sleeping. <laughs> nice. So you said you prepared some stuff already. I got some. Yeah, just to speed up because I know the videos have been long, and well, so we're gonna. Uh, here I've got some uh, beef tenderloin already cut up. Yummy. Asparagus, make your pea smell. Can nice. I say yes, you can. <laughs> I, didn't, I couldn't get any cor curds today, so I've diced I, up some mozzarella. I mozzarella. apologize to all the Canadians. All the French there, don't look. It's French. very bad. I cut up some uh, potatoes. We're gonna, we'll, we'll even do one. I even saved one to cut up. So okay. Just because I don't want to watch. And then here oh. I've got some crab meat. I've already yeah. made the gravy, and we'll go into that later. Crab meat. This is uh, butter. And then shrimp. That's a lot. This is we're gonna be making a hollandaise sauce, but that I've left, so we're gonna make in the blender. Awesome. So we're gonna get stuff going. What's first? We're gonna do the fries first. Oh, okay. Um, so we've already got. I've already, I just speed it up. Okay. So I've used uh, Yukon Gold, but you can use uh, whatever potato you want. Some people will say, "Why don't you peel that, Paul?" Because I don't like to. So I like the it's, skin it's on. It's better it. for you with the skin on it, it the isn't skin, it? Yeah, the skin's better for you. So I'm cutting it into, uh, try and cut into equal sizes, and then just come across. Okay. No, what's really funny is when I looked at this pot, it looked like you used a press. That's how cut. That's how evenly they were cut. Just like that. nice. So what we're gonna do is because it's gonna take time, we're gonna put some fries in. We're gonna fire up the grill, get those going, get the asparagus cooked. And then we're gonna come in, get the rest of the stuff going. We're gonna put it all together. It's yeah. more beautiful. Awesome. Dude, wait, wait, this I want. I want. <laughs> okay. So what is this thing set to? It just. It's a. It's a preset. It's probably about three fifty. Oh, just like you just set it to fries and yes. it does it. It just plug it in and away it goes. Ah, okay. So, so there actually isn't any controls on it at all. Oh. All right. So we got the fries cooking. Uh, we're going to be cooking the steaks. But before we go outside, anytime as a Canadian, what do we do before we turn on a barbecue? We drink beer. Beer. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> and as you can see, hey, where's my challenge has already started. We're going to be doing the traditional. Yeah, Molson Canadian for you guys today. I really don't need to be in this shot. Oh, yeah. no, I love it. I love it. He's going to eat a raw steak. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Raw bacon, yeah? So, what's next, Paul? We're going to barbecue. That's why I got my jacket on. Nice. Let's do it. Okay. So, okay, wait. You seasoned that. It's just salt and pepper. Just salt and pepper yep. to taste? Or there's yes. a few grinds of this, a few yep, grinds of that. Yeah. Let's go do it. All right. We're outside. Oh boy, Man. let me see those. So you're gonna do the asparagus on the grill as well? Yep. And how long do you think it'll take to cook a steak like that? Uh, probably about uh, 10 minutes, eight, 10 Wow. Minutes. Paul's gonna do the whole crisscross thing again. And of course it's a lot warmer than when we were last out here. Oh, that's true. So just by opening this, because I had it heating, a lot. I can feel it's really hot. So Super I'm gonna leave hot. it open because I don't need it. Before it was cold and I had the lid down right away. I want some of this heat to dissipate. Because it's too hot. It's too hot. Can you can, oh, you can, can tell. See, you can see how it's white in there, so it's, it's really hot. And then this is gonna be really quick. The asparagus will just be a couple of minutes. Right. We'll, we'll put on we'll, one season. Well, you just line awesome. all them all up yep. and just do a couple we'll little. On there. Nice. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Mm, Ooh. Steak. There must be some kind of a steak. Did somebody say steak? <laughs> <laughs> yes, they did. So we let this sit for a couple of minutes. I can feel that the heat is really dissipated from this, so we're gonna put it down and hold the heat in now. Oh, okay. Because I was preheating it, two things, to burn whatever was on the grill, char off, and then I, I used a brush, cleaned it up. And that was maybe about three minutes? Uh, probably about that, yeah. yeah. It wasn't that long. Okay. It was pretty quick. It, I mean, once it's open, you feel heat. Plus it's cool out right now too. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not it? freezing like it left yeah, last night. it's probably night. two or three degrees out right now, so you can see. 
All right. Oh, oh my. Look at that. It's already cooking on top. Mm. So we're going to do a little crisp here. Okay. Oh, it's like crisp a little cr bit. Oh, it's uh, a full 90. Woo! Whoa, That's there goes some hot. There goes oh, some there hairs. Goes the hairs off my hand. <laughs> Who needs waxing? We don't need it. <laughs> Whoa. So that's something I'm just going to turn down just a touch. It's nice when it's nice when you sear the outside, so you have it hot, hot. Now we can drop it a little bit. But don't you need to sear the other side? It will. Don't worry, because we, we can move them to different spots. You can see it's oh, hot. okay. It's still, it's very hot. So the searing is not just the it's heat hold, of yeah, the thing, but the heat of the actual the, metal. The juice and there's techniques where they say to turn it, and then you so the crisscross. I should have did one like that. Is that you there turn, then turn, then overturn. So that it's supposed to sear both sides to hold the juice in. Right. I don't know. You've been doing this a long time, so. Yeah. What about a little so, flare up like that? Is that bad? Um, yeah, you, if it's if you got too much of a flare, you can either move it to another spot, get it on the same grill mark, or sometimes you'll we'll keep a water bottle, like a spray. Thing. Right. Oh, it's a little just squirt. Have two shots and it's out. Because once it starts cooking, the fat that's on there is going to drip on them. It's, it's going to cause a flare up anyway. So yeah. if it's too fatty, then. Yeah. But beef tenderloin's pretty lean. Time for a flip. Mm. You see the nice. Oh, oh my oh, god! Sizzling. Oh. This one over to the, more of a hot spot there. See, that's the one that was getting left. The yeah, it was here. starting to burn, but we'll give that one to Lewis. Oh. <laughs> oh. So you can see where the sort of the hot, yeah. hottest spots because we move these two around, but it's sort of in there. And then once we do a final, like a little crisscross, then we'll these will be very quick. So I'm going to move these over a little bit. And we're going to free up part of the grill. We're going to pop them on. Them. Nice. And we're doing the asparagus that way to give them the flavor of barbecue, or to like actually cook them, or both. 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 See, I could have I could have blanched these when you're they're they're just drizzled with olive oil right now. What's blanching, Paul? Uh, so you put them in hot, like boiling water, just for a few seconds, and you want to, when you come out, depending if you're serving them right away, you might want to stabilize it, drop in, co in cold water to okay. stop from cooking. Um, we could do that another show. We could do that another but, show. Uh, we'll teach yeah. you how to blanch. We're gonna, I want to grill it because I want it to, to have the taste of the grill. I want to do some. Cool. Time to turn. So as I turn, I'm going to bring everything over a bit because what I want to do is I want to free up some space on the grill there. So I'm going to bring these in tight. And as you can see, there's not a ton of flare up in here. Yeah. Woo! Longer tongs. See? Oh, that's nice. I'm just gonna obviously put them in the direction of, or opposite, kitty corner direction. What would that be? Opposing direction? Huh? 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 I'm trying to speak, but it's just the words just don't come out. I just can't. I can't do it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Spread the load a bit. This is how you do asparagus. On the on grill. The on, the on the barbecue. On the barbecue. On the barbie. On the barbecue. Okay, I'm just gonna close this down two seconds. One. Two. Two. And then I'm gonna need, do you wanna give me a plate? Sure. It's brought out a brand new plate. Paul, what have you done since I've been gone? You just move oh, them I just around? Moved, I, just, I just spread them out so they cook more even. Right, you don't want them you don't definitely wanna, crispy or burnt. Yeah, I just don't wanna burn them. Let's right. see, get a bit of the char on there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move the one that's more well done to the front because it's not as hot in here. And I'll put the ones, the thicker ones, and I'll cook as much in the in the hot, hot spots. spots. Yeah. So these three can go back in here. And ooh, it's hot. And this little one right there. I'm just gonna pull it down a second. One. Does this smell good? Was that one second? <laughs> yes it was. That smells absolutely fantastic. Alright, Paul! Ooh, oh, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> mm. Uh oh, they're gonna fall through. Oh, we're gonna keep, that's why we got it this way. Yeah. Make sure we're not, oh yeah, she's coming together nice now. And you can tell by the way they're getting all kind of loose. Yeah. Or just by well, the color see, of like, them. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's gonna start to soften. Like nice. That's, and you don't wanna, you don't want a spare. Do the wiggle it. test. Do the wiggle test, look at it. Oh, that's nice. Nice. You can tell. So, let's move this one in here now. This little bad boy there. This one should be getting there. So two more seconds and we're gonna take them off and then we're gonna, we're gonna make some hollandaise sauce. We got a batch of fries in there, and then once I heat the crab, the shrimp, we're gonna put it all together, and we're gonna use a broiler just to heat up and just to bring melt the cheese and the oh, gravy. And all. Oh my gosh! And the gravy. Well, we'll talk about it when we get inside. Okay. Okay, Paul. I smell goodness uh, upon us. Oh. oh yeah. 
I'm gonna take this inside now. Oh Look boy. At, oh yeah. If heaven actually had a smell, that it would, would be smell it. like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, something's gonna roll off. Yeah, no, we're gonna do this good. Watch this. Right in. Holy! It's almost like you've been doing this a long time. I try. I try. Oh. Let's do it. That's a platter of loveliness right there. <laughs> nice. Oh, look at that steam. Okay, so far, guys, what do you smell in Paul's Hello, kitchen? Le Le steak. Le steak? I'm Le steak. Nice. Maple syrup and beetles and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and beer. That's a, definitely going to smell no, beer. I'm cider. Oh, you're drinking the cider now. He's yes. a good man. He has everything. All right, Paul, what's up next? We're going to make some hollandaise sauce. Oh, so we got to separate. So separate the egg. That's the best way to do it. Yeah, that's the easiest way. Keep your and you don't have to buy any like special contraption. Oh, there you go. And you right. keep. Boop. You're gonna be keeping the egg white for like omelets tomorrow or something. Bacon egg is tiny. Just for the kids. Right. Yeah, we'll do something with it. That's, that's what I'm Lots saying. Lots of things you can do with egg, egg whites. All right, time. You think you're gonna need three? Yeah. Okay. How long ago you all over there? Nice. So we put the egg yolk in the blender. Okay. This just makes life easy. You could do this by hand. What's that? You could do it by hand with a. Just, just to get it. It's blended. It's blended. It's not documented by Google, so. No, Does it have to be super hot like that? No, I just I just clarified it, so I just melted it down. All right, Paul's gonna start pouring. I'm gonna try because I can't find. That's a noisy blender. It's noisy. All right, so what are you doing, Paul? Okay, we're putting the asparagus on. We're just heating the crab. We're going to put shrimp on top of the crab. And we're going to broil it. I've already got the fries. We just took the fries out. And then we're going to put the poutine together for you. So what we'll do is we'll just get all this set up. We're going to drop it in the broiler. And then I'll show you how to plate it. So you're putting the crab meat on top of the asparagus and... Oh, oh boy. That smells so good. And then we're gonna, we already got the fries in the oven. And then we're gonna broil it, put the hollandaise on top. Oh, I got an extra shrimp. Thank you. Eat. Eat. <laughs> Eat. So now oh. you're doing like a homemade Hollandaise sauce. So we're just gonna drizzle this on top. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put the finish this in the oven, and then we're gonna we've got the gravy heating up. So the gravy I used a uh, mix because I didn't have oh uh, usually I'd use drippings. We can do another episode with that on how to do nice gravy, but you you really wanted to have like a roast and, and use the drippings for that. So put on like that. So we're just gonna slide that. We're gonna put it in the broiler, and then when that comes out. We're gonna put it all together. We're gonna to do a poutine. Mm. So we're gonna switch the broiler on. Broil high. Mm. The fries are gonna be nice and hot. So we're just gonna put that in for a couple of minutes. This is hot. Then we're gonna set up on the plate, and then we'll be ready to eat. Nice. Okay, Paul, what's up next? Okay, we're gonna put the fries on. Unfortunately, you can see that some are, are cooked more than the others. Uh, okay. Because we had to do three time, batches. We had to do three batches. The fry are small. And... So you're gonna plate a whole bunch of fries on and then put our fake cheese curds on. Our fake cheese curds, yes. We apologize for that. We just... Paul then Paul could have called me today because we were downtown right by the St. Lawrence uh, market. We could have probably picked up some fresh cheese curds. But sometimes things, things happen. These things don't work our way. And Paul is cooking for six people plus kids. Plus the kids. Yeah. And I think the dog wants to eat too. Oh, Macy. Macy, she's so, so wonderful. We're gonna put some He's fake cheese curds we're on. Fake, we're gonna melt it with because it's gonna sit under underneath there. So, yeah. so the super stoked hot gravy is supposed to melt the cheese just a little bit, not much. You're supposed to yeah, just want to retain. soften the cheese. You just, yeah, you want to retain. The shape of the cheese curd, in this case, a chunk of cheese. Chris oh my. 
Dude. <laughs> Chris Jericho. Chris Pinoir. Chris Pinoir. Chris Pinoir. Woof! Wow, they had a Oh, lordy, lordy. Oh, there's Harry's very dull looking. The dull one. Shut up. Amazing food, and then here's our <laughs> amazing, super sexy. Everybody has to take a picture and put it on Instagram. Instagram. Oh right in there. my! That's a feast. Holy schmoly! And the other ones are for the kids. I apologize for my letters. This is traditional Canadian food. No, that's right. <laughs> we eat like this every day. Oh. 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 Yeah. Wow. Guys, take a picture before we, we settle down. Take a picture of this looks incredible. Yeah, I would, but I got mocked for my uh, lack of seafood, so I'm not doing it. That lack of seafood. That looks incredible. All right, guys, dig in to this amazing meal that Paul has prepared for you. Le poutine. I'm looking forward to the steak. Le poutine. Oh, I'm looking forward to the steak. Okay. Yeah. And that's and the really and the fake poutine underneath. Yeah, that's why. That I'm gravy is amazing. Seafood, Matthew? Yeah. Right, ready? Mm. Steak. No. I got asparagus, shrimp, and crab. Try to get like a piece of everything in, in a shot if you can. That's a tasty steak. My god. Oh. It's like this guy's a chef or something. It's like he Jesus. knows how to cook. He did definitely knows how to cook. He, like, he does need to be a chef. <laughs> wow. You have this prawn on the top. See, this is incredible. Mother lover. That's amazing. I need to eat. Go eat, <laughs> go, and you gotta film it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Paul, let's get into your super awesome mm. creation. Mm. I'm gonna take a little bit of shrimp. A little bit of everything. I'm gonna try everything in one shot. Oh. See if I can get oh. it. A little bit of monitor. Crab. <laughs> Asparagus. Oh. Never oh. shoveling my face here. This isn't happening for me. Can't get everything in one bite, buddy. You can do it. There. Oh, look at that, people. <clears throat> Check it out. Scratch. Scratch it. <laughs> Sniff. Mmm. Mmm. I said oom as it went in my mouth. That's a poutine. Mm. The hollandaise sauce and the gravy. Good, eh? Mix them together very well. Mozzarella will do. Yeah. It will have to. The steak is like per cooked perfectly. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you'd change on that yet? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. This is something. This is the curds, but the mozzarella worked out nice. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely would have just added a different flavor if we if we actually use real cheese. We'd be eating curves. French cuisine. French cuisine. <laughs> ah, we wait. Mm. All right, guys, we're gonna finish this off, and we'll be right back with all of our ratings. Hang on. All right, guys, we're done. Lewis, what'd you think, buddy? Oh, it was amazing. There was too much stuff on that to like. So much stuff I loved about what, that. What was the last piece that you decided to keep on a side? The last piece I ate was the crab. I love crab. I thought you said it was the asparagus. I ate, I ate at the same time, really. Oh, the, well, the asparagus yeah. and the crab. Yeah, man. All right, Harry. Double dipping. Double, Double dipping. dipping. Well, you know me. Hello. Tell me about yours. Okay, so I had no seafood. I'm not really a seafood fan, but the steak was incredible. Absolutely incredible. Uh, just not a huge fan on poutine, unfortunately. I'm very sorry. That's all right. You can't say that in Canada. Am I getting deported now? <laughs> no. <laughs> it, it could happen, but but tell me again why you probably won't like poutine. Is because you um, you said something about the, the uh, yeah in, gravy. in England in England up if you if you live up north it, uh, chips and gravy as we mm. call it is very very big, but it's not really a thing down south. So right. I haven't really so been you're not up used on to it. it. Right, so yeah, yeah, okay. I'm used to it. All right, Matt. Let her let us have it. Paul, you've done a good service oh, for your you. country. <laughs> legit. <laughs> the, legit. Nice. Yeah, man, when, we get, nice. when we get back, we'll give the queen a call and she'll come nice. over and night you. Okay. <laughs> right, so the last thing I left was the steak. I thought it was amazing. Everything else in there was excellent. As you see, pretty much cleared my plate, but you know, I'll, nice. I'll have that in a minute, but yeah. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> with a with a Ken from KBD Productions TV rating. I would give if that I'd go out and get it now. Nice. So, yeah. Polly. Uh, that was incredible. We had everything I liked on it. Uh, the only issue is I usually have my steak a lot rarer than that. Well, I have it rare, so it's right. usually blood stripping from it. That's only 
thing that he's still shiny card. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Paul just kind of clicked them all the same. That's not taking only orders. issue I had where all the rest of it, Isaac Perfect, as one of the best best moves I've ever had. Like honestly, it's just oh, incredible. I'm so glad. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 the, 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 chip, the chips, the gravy, the, the cheese, everything, and oh, obviously the seafood was in the steak. <laughs> Perfect, because I love seafood as well. The crab, yeah, just oh, absolutely perfect. Gang gear now. Actually, midway through, I left the table to go for a wee because I didn't want to sour this this just by needing a wee the whole way through. <laughs> I was just like, nah, <laughs> I, I want to fully enjoy nah. this. <laughs> so yeah, thanks again, Paul, man. Honestly. No problem. All right, Paul, I'm gonna let you go first. What did you think? Because you, this is the first time you've actually created that too, it right? It was, and. As you can see, it was fully ingested. There's my tongue marks in the plate there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't Mine the dog, too. it was me. <laughs> so would you have changed anything of that, or is it just like exactly the way you thought it was going to be? Or exactly like I thought. It was, yeah? It was, uh, yeah. Very nice. Yep. And what was the last piece you kept? We were kind of talking about I kept a whole... piece of steak, crab, and a little bit of gravy on the on the corner. That's, and that was the, the finishing bite there. Me too, guys. I'm gonna give this a total go and get it now. But I also go out again make it now. Uh, go out and make it now. <laughs> that's right. Try it. Uh, but like I was talking to everybody earlier on, saying, "What is like the last piece of that meal you kind of kept off to the side to eat last?" And me too. It was like a piece of steak, gravy, and there was a little bit of crab there too. So thanks, buddy. That was no awesome, problem. amazing meal. I enjoyed it. I'd like to thank. Uh, where's my challenge for coming out to hey. Canada just to eat here at Paul's house? <laughs> thanks, guys. That's a long yeah, flight for a meal. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. ding, ding, ding. ding and we'll ding. see you next time on another Ken and Paul Cook and Review with guest stars. Where's my challenge? Boop. Ooh, Shots. Yeah, no, they, they, no, they do. I'll, I'll tell, turn them personally. You're always on their phones. Who? Maxine always on their phones oh. when they do videos. Hmm. If you come from Anyway. Here we go. I can't cook. Hey guys, it's Ken and Paul again from, uh, not that, oh, uh, that again. And we've got some guys from London, or not from London. Oh, you from oi, 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 Start again. Start, start again. It doesn't matter. Oh, fucking hell. I'm from London. <laughs> England is one big London. There's nothing else. <laughs> All these foreigners are the fucking same. Do you same. know the Queen? Yes, yeah, yeah, she was my best friend. friend. She cleans my house. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. And now, this, is, this is a pun coming. And now lift it up above your head. I'm not lifting a gravy. Lift it high enough. Get some gravy in there. That's enough, yeah? That's it. Lift it high. Ah. Ice steaks. Ice steaks. Ice steaks. Ice steaks. Ice steaks.